we present a new method for local tone mapping of HDR video. Recent subjective studies show that current HDR video tone mapping operators tend to produce disturbing temporal artifacts. A common artifact in many operators is brightness flickering. Here we show an example. Another common problem is camera noise, which is normally not visible but is often amplified because of tone mapping. Some methods utilize temporal filtering to reduce these artifacts, but this may cause severe ghosting in the results. Our methods, however, remain temporally stable, even when its parameters are pushed to the limit to produce artificially high local contrast. A key feature of our method is the spatiotemporal filtering utilizing motion paths. Our method takes the HDR video as input and also utilizes forward and backward optical flow. Using these, we compute a coarse, edge-aware, and temporally coherent base layer, and a likewise temporally coherent detail layer containing fine scale contrast. Let's take a closer look at how our spatiotemporal filtering process works. For a given HDR frame, we consider a number of consecutive future and past frames. Next, we compute a permeability map that controls the amount of spatial diffusion that occurs between pixels. Brighter means more diffusion. Then we spatially filter the entire temporal neighborhood. Moving to temporal filtering, using the optical flow, we warp all the neighboring frames such that they are aligned with the center frame. And we compute another permeability map for the temporal dimension. That prevents filtering over temporally misaligned pixels for example, near the hand of the actor. All these steps are explained in detail in our paper. Finally, we obtain a spatiotemporally filtered and thus temporally coherent base layer. We also obtain the detail layer by applying only the temporal part of our filtering to the input HDR video and normalizing the outcome with the base layer on the left. Here we present a visual comparison of our method with other tone mapping operators. For each method, we show the tone mapped video over time, shown with blue lines, along with the compressed log mean plot of the HDR video for reference, shown with red lines. We can observe that the local methods tend to be inconsistent over time or generate strongly visible artifacts. The global operators, on the other hand, achieve better temporal stability, but they lack the capability of enhancing local contrast. We developed a simple user interface to help tone mapping. Once we pre-compute the base and detail layers of the HDR video, tone mapping can be performed interactively through this interface. Our method is capable of tone mapping challenging HDR sequences that contain complex motion and lighting changes. Our tone mapping method can be used to generate results with various visual styles through simple configuration changes. The left video shows a tone mapping that emphasizes fine scale details at the cost of global contrast, whereas the right video shows a more balanced tone mapping. This result shows that our algorithm can handle local illumination changes. Note how the detail in the woman's face remains visible despite the strong sunlight. Next we show an example with strong temporal contrast. Our method results in seamless transition at the tunnel exit despite the significant lighting change. Here is another example that demonstrates our method's ability to reproduce detail, even with camera motion and non-static objects. Finally, we present an example with extreme dynamic range compression. While this result may look unnatural, it is a good showcase that demonstrates the capabilities of our method. 
We found that our method is suitable for tone mapping low light HDR sequences that contain significant camera noise. A naive tone mapping amplifies the camera noise along with the scene details. As a solution, one can apply a denoising filter to the frames of the HDR video before tone mapping. Our method, on the other hand, achieves a comparable level of detail enhancement and denoising naturally without requiring an extra step.